The big, big thing in retail is going to be digital transformation where it puts the customer front and center. Everybody's selling very similar products and services. And so your ability to provide a better customer experience is going to gain you the additional revenue that you're looking for. So Shoppertainment is the new way to keep, keep customers longer in the store and then drive more customers' interest and then eventually turn that into a convert. I believe some of the growth opportunities are going to revolve around the concept of what's called as frictionless physical and online shopping. Uh, this is perhaps one way of making the shopping experience more consumer-centric and personalized. For the last decade, uh, physical retail has been kind of at a standstill. You can take a lot of learnings from e-commerce and the consumer is wanting to start feeling that progress in the physical retail space. We start to capitalize on things like computer vision and machine learning. We're able to build complex algorithms that are able to convert a physical space into a digital space, basically allowing you to look at a physical space as if it was a website. You walk in, you pick up whatever you want, and you walk out. That's it. Fast, free shopping. You don't have to interact with a cashier. You don't have to queue. You don't have to use a plastic credit card. You don't have to pull a wallet out of your pocket. In Asia, this is already hitting mainstream adoption. We're seeing it not just go from proof of concept, but actually looking at it to go to scale. Um, and it's definitely, um, that's putting pressure on a global level uh, for all retailers. So the retailers are able to remove the cost of having check out people. Uh, they can pass the savings on to us and also it's a much more pleasing and fast experience. Especially where they're operating in environments where it is difficult to hire people willing to work in shop spaces because let's face it, retail work is hard work. It, it's hard labor, especially stocking and stacking and arranging. So what happens now is there are robots that are used to stack shelves you can have completely humanless stores for in-store shopping. So that's where innovation is leading, I would say, in-store in shopping within a foreseeable future for us. The business don't have to invest in developing such kind of technologies from scratch or reinvent the wheel. They can just leverage cloud. Another good example is that uh, when we build a mobile application, we want to make sure that it works for every single model of the phone. However, there are tens of thousands of models of the phone in the world, so you cannot just afford to test it in every single phone. But cloud provides that te technology to let everybody to test it with all the phone simulators in the cloud with just a very little cost. So one of the most difficult pieces of, let's say, running a uh, autonomous store is being able to actually, let's say, have the servers on prem. It's quite an expensive and heavy to maintain piece of the product. So one of the things that we've been able to do is solve this by moving all of our processing power into the cloud. Now, one of the, the problems when you're starting to process just in the cloud is that you run into, um, let's say, latency issues, especially when you're trying to do something that requires low latency or real-time uh, real uh, processing capability. All these require a combination of advanced AI technologies, which includes image and video processing, which will all need to be backed by cloud services that are provided at the edge of the network. So we have to look at how retail is looking to leverage technology to provide a better customer experience when we're dealing with brick and mortar stores as well as online technology. It's mixing things like mobile computing, it's mixing logistic systems, understanding where the customers are location-wise, what their needs are, and providing them with the opportunity to get things that they perhaps even didn't know they needed. You could think of the use of augmented reality technologies for demonstrating a product or trialing on something in the, in the comforts of our own home. Or even think of you know, something more futuristic, a large scale drone delivery system that is used to reduce the wait times that would go pick up 
our stuff from a shop and bring it right to our doorstep. The name of the business is Freshable in Chinese Hema. It is actually the first online to offline store to sell groceries in the world. So there are several AI has been adopted. The first thing is about the, the mobile, the latest things. These are the trendy food. These are everybody else is thinking about just one of it. And second thing is that uh, uh, actually I want to purchase something good, but lower cost compared to others. Then Herma can pretty much do that because it uses AI to manage supply chain. We don't have to know the brand. I don't have to know what the name of the product is. I can take a picture of that product and use the picture to search similar items in the app. And the last thing is that uh, if I place the order online, the store will deliver the item to my home within 30 minutes. So the reason we can do that is to plan the vehicles, plan the delivery person with the best route. So some of the innovations that we're seeing today are absolutely astounding. Um, we're starting to move into this uh, this like space of science fiction and the future of where we're going. The interesting bit is with the advent of the metaverse, the e-retail space or e-commerce space is going to get massively disrupted. People will look at products of a wide variety and even feel them with the use of haptic technology in virtual stores that are simulated to replicate the experience of physical shop spaces. Retailers that don't adopt these technologies or these technological offerings or options for them, it's a matter of time before they become irrelevant. Leveraging artificial intelligence systems, location management systems, direct marketing systems, demand creation, and also understanding the demand of the customers is really where the next gen destination of retail is. And so weaponizing technology to kind of bring this to the next level is the next war that we're going to be fighting in this world.